Hey, what's up guys? My name is Erdre and welcome back to another video. In this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a free TeamSpeak server using Google Cloud. Now, keep in mind, for this to work, you will need a credit card. As when you're going to sign up, you'll need to put a credit card and you're going to get 90 days free $200 to spend on your server. Now, also, every time after 90 days, you'll need to stop your subscription. Otherwise, it's going to spend your money. I'm going to explain more about this throughout the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So the first thing that you'll need to do, of course, is to create a Google Cloud account. So make sure you go to this link. It will be in the description. You'll need to sign up with your Google account and also you'll need to put a credit card. And as I've told you every time after 90 days, you'll need to cancel your subscription and to create another server for free. You're just going to create another Google account and another Google Cloud account. So once you're done with signing up, what you want to do is to create a virtual machine. So go to the navigation menu, go to compute engine and go to VM instances. So as you can see, I already have my own instance and an external IP. And basically this IP is going to be used to connect to the TeamSpeak server. So in your case, this should be empty. And what you want to do is create an instance. So just click on here, put whatever name you want. I just left the default name and then you need to choose your region. In my case, I'm from Europe, so I'm just going to select for example, Europe, Belgium. Now, as you can see on the right side, you have a monthly estimate. This basically is the cost of your server per month. Now, 27 is okay because we get $200 to spend. So maybe you're interested in pumping up these specs. And for example, using, I don't know, 54. 54 is still okay because it's three months. But with these specs, I don't know, you can use it to host a Discord bot. You can use it for many things. Not only for your TeamSpeak server, because it doesn't require that much performance. You can just use the lowest settings. For example, E2 Micro with two vCPUs and one gigabyte of RAM. And as you can see, it only uses $7 per month. So less than one cent per hour. And the next thing that we want to do is change the operating system. So go ahead and search for Ubuntu and also increase a bit the size of the disk. And also, by the way, you can also use an SSD or extreme persistent disk or balanced persistent disk. I don't know what the difference between these three are, but if you want a very good performance, you can use an SSD instead. But we're not interested as it's only a basic TeamSpeak server. And the next thing that we can also tick, it's not very important, uh, we can tick these two options. Once you're done, you can just go ahead and click on create. And then you're going to be waiting until the instance is running and you're going to see this icon. So the next thing that you want to do is set up your TeamSpeak server. For this, you're just going to click on this button, SSH. Basically, we're going to connect to the virtual machine and you're going to see a console. And in that console, we're going to paste in a bunch of commands for your TeamSpeak server. So the first thing that we want to do is get the files. So how do you get the files? You can just search for TeamSpeak server download. Click on the first link, then go to this tab, scroll down, and you're interested in 64 bits. So click on this, then go back to your console, write in WGET, paste what you just copied, and basically it's just going to download this file. Click on enter. Now, if you want to see the file you just downloaded, you can just type in LS. And as you can see, these are all the files that I've downloaded within this folder. So I have this archive that I've extracted before and the folder. So the next step is to extract the archive. So type in tar XVF and then type in the name of the archive. Now, in my case, it's already extracted. Now, as you can see, this shows a folder. So if it's in blue, it's a folder. And if it's red it's an archive so i'm not going to do it and the next step is just to navigate to that folder so cd team speak and click on tab every time you want it to autocomplete just click on tab and then enter to see the files just click on ls and now you have all the files so the script that you need to run to start the server is this one so what you need to do is type in dot slash and paste this in here so if you click on enter you can see the arguments that it can pass you can either start the server stop restart or see the status of the server so 
Let's do this again and writing start. So space start. I'm not going to do this because it's already started and there is a bunch of people in that server. And now once you're going to start the server, it's going to say that you need to accept the license. So how do you do this? You're just going to type in this command. Every command will be in the description, so don't worry. Basically, this command will just create a file that basically shows that you accepted the license. Once you're done, you can just rerun the command. So dot slash ts3 server start script dot sh space start. And then it's going to start the server. So once you run this command, you will get something like this. Make sure that you copy this somewhere because you're going to get your uh, server admin account credentials. And also you'll get a privilege key that will be only used once. So now you're almost finished. Only one thing is that we need to add some firewall rules. So to do this, you need to go back to Google Cloud, go to your navigation menu, VPC network, firewall, go ahead and click on create firewall rule. In my case, it's already done. So I'm just going to show you the settings, edit, set whatever name you want, leave the priority on the default setting, source filter, IPv4 ranges, targets all instances in the network. And for the source IPv ranges, you'll need to put this in 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. And now the most important part, you'll need to specify some ports, TCP, this and this, and there is a call between the two and UDP and this. You're going to find everything in the description, so don't worry. Once you're done, you can just click on save, go back to your compute engine and VM instances, copy your external IP, open up TeamSpeak connections. Now, in my case, I have a DNS for my server, but I can just use my IP instead. Connect, and there we go. By the way, I don't know who these guys are, but it doesn't matter. So once you're here, what you'll need to do is enter your uh, privilege key and you'll be good to go. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want me to make a tutorial on how to configure your TeamSpeak server, for example, uh, how to create your own server groups, how to add these icons, how to add these lines, how to add a banner and plenty of other things, please let me know in the comments down below. But guys, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you have some questions, write them down below. See you in the next one. Goodbye.